Here's how to clean up your videos with AI. In this interview, there's a lot of things going on in the background that I didn't like. I didn't have a way to hide this cord for the light. I didn't like how my wall on the left didn't quite go all the way up and there was light coming through the bottom. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that using Photoshop. So in Premiere Pro, we're gonna click our snapshot or export frame button right here. Make sure it's a PNG so it has the most quality possible. And let's give it a name. I'm gonna call it Interview Messy. There we go. Here's our image. I'm gonna first do this wall over here by using my polygonal lasso tool to grab this area. And I'm going to use generative AI to see if it'll fill it in. So right click, go to generative fill. It gives you the prompt and just hit generate. That looks pretty good. I could have also just used the good old fashioned clone stamp tool right here. Let's do it real quick. That's the S button. You just basically, it's a copy and paste brush where you press Alt to sample and you can paint anything. That looks even better. I'll stick with that. Sometimes AI is not perfect and that's okay. Unfortunately, I won't have time in this video to show you all these retouching techniques. I may make a longer length video covering the various tricks I use in Photoshop. Let's get rid of this cord by using my favorite new Photoshop tool, which is the remove brush. It is an AI powered removal brush that you can just paint over things. And it uses AI to basically paint over where it was. Let's see how it does with that tricky job. Wow, perfect. And over here, there's a little bit of cord right there. That should be an easy one. Awesome. This is tricky. My LED panel is a bit in between the legs of his chair. So I'm definitely gonna be using some more advanced Photoshop layering techniques to paint inside this hole. Uh, so let me just speed this up real quick. There we go. I'm done with my Photoshop magic. I'm going to compress this all into one uh, flat layer by using flatten image. Here's the weird part. I only need to save the areas that I edited. So I'm going to select around this area, which I uh, definitely edited. Select under the chair along this board. I don't want to grab any of the wall that I didn't edit, but I will grab this area like that. Now I need to go back around and make this one selection. There we go. And then click our mask button down there. And there we have the only areas that we really changed with Photoshop. I'm gonna save this as a PNG because PNG retains transparency. So this is interview clean. Make sure it's a PNG. There we go. Now back in Premiere, we're gonna import that image. There it is. And just drag and drop it on top of your clip. And there we go. So see, we just like in Photoshop, we have layers in Premiere. This top layer, the purple one, is my uh, kind of chopped up AI fixed image. Now I have heard from Adobe that they are working on adding something similar to this, basically a background cleanup and even AI reverse cropping into Premiere Pro in future versions. I look forward to that, but for now we have to do this workaround using Photoshop.